It should come as no surprise that North American-based Boeing manufactures some big airplanes. Since the maiden flight of its venerable 747 in the late 1960s, Boeing has been hitting the runway with big planes. The current version of the 747, the 747-8, is at the head of the pack. So, which is bigger, Boeing or Airbus? Boeing did not make the biggest plane in the world, an honor which goes to the Antonov and 225. They don't even make the largest commercial plane, which is currently the Airbus A380. The Boeing 747-8 holds the spot of the second largest passenger plane when rated by takeoff weight. The present-day Boeing company is the result of mergers between several major aircraft manufacturers. As a result, the company has no other competition in the production or development of heavy aircraft. The only exception is European Airbus, whose aircraft match or better Boeing's offerings in terms of sheer size. Top 5 Largest Boeing Aircraft 1. Boeing 747-8 The 747 was the world's first jumbo jet, first flown in 1969 and introduced into service for Pan Am Airways. The Queen of the Skies, as she became known, was the first two-aisle airliner. It is recognizable to this day thanks to its second-level cockpit and upper-deck hump. The design was notable since it allows the entire nose of the aircraft to open for freighter planes. Boeing has improved on the original design over the years by upgrading engines and stretching the fuselage to accommodate more payload. The most common variant was the 747-400, which added a much larger bridge deck, a glass cockpit, and seating for over 400 passengers in three classes. It came out in 1983. The 747-8 is available in freighter and passenger versions. The passenger plane can carry 467 passengers in three classes. The freighter can haul 137 tons of cargo. It is by far the heaviest Boeing aircraft, though the current generation of 777 is a tad longer. 2. Boeing 777 Boeing set out to build a bigger wide-body plane that could carry more freight and passengers on ETOPS routes. The result was the 777, which first flew in the early 1990s. The 777 is a wide-body plane that typically carries 368 passengers. It's the largest twin-engine airliner in the world. The current variants, the 777X8 and 9, have been stretched with new engine designs added. They feature folding wingtips, which allow the planes to fit in existing terminals and airports. 3. Boeing C-17 Globemaster The only military aircraft to make the list, the C-17 Globemaster, is one of the Air Force's chief cargo planes. McDonnell Douglas initially designed it, but Boeing took over the program when the companies merged. The plane entered service in 1995 and was manufactured until 2015. The C-17 is a high-wing four-engine design. It's used to haul cargo and relief supplies by many of the world's military organizations, including India, Kuwait, UK, Australia, Canada, Qatar, UAE, and the NATO Heavy Airlift Wing. 4. Boeing 787-10 Boeing's newest airliner is also the fourth biggest. The 787 is revolutionary in many ways, but its primary mission was to bring the modern building and design techniques into the wide-body airliner market. The plane carries between 200 and 300 passengers, all while using 20% less fuel than the 767, which it was designed to replace. To get such an efficient airframe and engine design, Boeing relied extensively on composite materials and state-of-the-art manufacturing techniques. The 787 became known as the Dreamliner. It first flew in 2009. 5. Boeing 767-400ER The 767 is a wildly popular twin-engine wide body that has been in service and production since 1981. Boeing designed the plane together with the narrow-body 757, effectively as replacements for the aging fleet of less efficient 727 and 747. 
One of the primary goals of the 757 and 767 programs was to reduce operating costs for airlines. The air carriers operating in the post-deregulation environment of the late 1970s were very different than their predecessors, and low costs became the primary concern when ordering new planes. The 767 was one of the first planes to benefit from the relaxing of ETOPS regulations in the mid-1980s. The plane was initially used for transcontinental flights, but with new ETOPS rules allowing service all over the world.